This is a uh, King Absolute 360 here. I'm going to make a quick fill strip video of the SR 1911 made by Ruger. Uh, before I start, um, gun has been safety checked, no mag, nothing in the chamber. All right, really all you need is a takedown tool. You don't really need it, but I like to use it. Uh, that's how it was showed to me, and I mean, it comes with the package with the SR 19. Why not use it? Now, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to release the slide here. I always pull it back. I lock the slide, so when you try to take it down, the slide doesn't move. I'm going to take this, line it up here, I'm going to press. Now, what you want to do is you want to slide it over, put your thumb over the cock and rod spring, release it slowly, the way it doesn't fly out and hit anybody. Bam. I usually just take mine, flip it back this way. Habit is how it was taught to me, like I said. Now, take your safety off. Now, what you want to do is, I don't know if you can see, but there's two notches. You want to align, you want to align this notch where my finger is with the slide release. Now, so you just slide over, keep on going. Now, once you have it lined up, slide release pin, just pop right out. Pushing off. Slide it forward. Cock and rod spring out. Barrel comes out. Bam. It's fairly easy. Takes no time. Easy for, for cleaning. Spray your bar stool in there, whatever. Um, I'm hoping to pick up a Chicago ultrasonic cleaning system. Basically, you can throw your gun parts in there, put your... Uh, gun and still cleaning uh, solution in set it for four minutes and 30 seconds you're done come down brush it up wipe it off pull the gun back up uh, I'm gonna put it back together now fairly fast barrel in there I like to put the bushing on that's how it's taught to me like I said push it on I turn it all the way back down to the left Cocking rod spring. I'm just lined up. Now what I do is I like to hold it like this. I hold it up down. Some people pull it up, but I like to do it like this. It's easier for me. You might find it different once you do that. Slide it back into, like I said, that notch. Once you see that notch line up again, there should be a direct hole from where your barrel and that, that way this pin slides right back in there. See if I get it first shot. If I do, it'll be a miracle. Huh. Perfect. Slide her up. Now, once she's lined up, I like to put the safety back on so the barrel slide doesn't move. Don't need a tool anymore. Just going to kind of manhandle her. Slide it back over. Safety off. Ready to go. It's easy as one, two, three. And again, um, I'm pretty sure with a little bit more practice, I can get a lot better. Um, two more days away from firing this bad boy off. I can't tell you how excited I am. Um, me and my wife are both going to be going. I'm going to be shooting this. She's pretty much going to be shooting a 350. Um, let her tell it. Will guns or real guns? But me, I'd rather go with a gun that's 100 years old, hasn't been changed. Um, the Ruger followed Ed Browning's blueprints almost to a T. Um, and plus, I mean, I'd rather have a little bit more shots than six. You know what I mean? I have eight. They come with ten round mags. Um, Chip McCormick, I believe, makes them. Um, I'm, I should have one of them coming in the mail in a few days. And also, Ruger also makes Mother of Pearl grips for this which um I'm gonna try to sweet talk my wife into buying me a pair <laughs> <laughs> hopefully I'm pretty sure she will you know what I mean I have to get the gab I might have to serenade her a little bit but <laughs> I'll have some pearl grips in a little bit um that's pretty much what I'm gonna do to this but uh thanks a lot I hope the uh takedown video is pretty educational and uh always be safe never point your gun at unless you want to kill or destroy something King Absolute 360 over and out.